All right, welcome back. I have the pleasure of being joined by Hassan Rizvi, who is the Executive Vice President of Database Engineering. Hassan, what do you hope that attendees here at Cloud World London took away from your keynote today? So Oracle's strategy is really to architecturally eliminate complexity so our customers can lower their costs, their time to market, as well as their operational risk. And also to really enable, you know, bring power and simplicity to data by bringing AI to the data instead of our customers having to take data out of their secure locations to use AI. You just mentioned a couple of them, but what are some of the top challenges around data management today? So I think in today's digital landscape, you're constantly being promised that the next tool, framework, or technology is going to solve all your pressing challenges. Yet every technology that you add is a commitment that compounds your technology and complexity debt. And this hidden cost is really eroding our customers' ability to do what matters most, which is meet their business requirements. Right. And we talk about creating silos in all different aspects of Oracle technology. So in terms of solving those challenges on the database side and data management side, what are what is Oracle doing? So what happens, this complexity makes it life very difficult for developers where you need to figure out how to access all the data, for architects to figure out how to make it all run together, for IT departments to figure out how to secure and operate it. And, and what the Oracle strategy is really to engineer it together. The reason it creates this complexity is because this stuff is not engineered together. Every new thing comes with its own new database technology. And, and our customers have to do all the work of putting it together. We'd like to engineer it together at Oracle uh, so that they don't have to do the work. And part of engineering things together includes something like, that we announced earlier this year, Exadata uh, X11. Tell us more about what X11M does. So engineered systems is our way to really bring the power of an engineered solution with hardware and software engineered together. Every year or so we release a new uh, version. X11M is the latest one. Latest hardware, a lot of software uh, improvements. We've also launched Exascale, which is a new architecture that brings the benefits of cloud to Exadata, as well as a recovery appliance, which really helps our customers do a very um, efficient backup and, and protection against ransomware. Another hot topic, we're, we're covering off on all of them. Another hot topic is multi-cloud or Oracle Autonomous Database uh, is available in other major clouds, AWS, Azure, Google Cloud. Why are we offering this? What benefits are customers getting from that? So this is really exciting for us because our customers have been asking for us to provide the database on their cloud of choice. Of course, it's been available on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, OCI, but our customers really have choices that they've made in terms of which public cloud they want to run on, and they've been asking us to have the Oracle database available. So we've done a lot of engineering to make sure that it performs really well and that it is available. So, uh, you know, Amazon, Google, and uh, Microsoft, we've got it available, and now customers have the full flexibility to deploy Oracle in the public cloud of their choice. And what are some of the end benefits that the customers get by having uh, the database wherever they want? Well, so I think it's the flexibility and, and really performance and really the ability to, to maximize their investment. You know, you can, for example, now use your cloud credits that you've purchased with these public clouds against Oracle. So it, it really gives them a lot of flexibility and power now to do what they want uh, in their environment. Yeah, and we're starting to hear from customers about the performance uh, gains, the simplicity. So, um, so that's going well so far. Let's talk about another technology, uh, 23AI, database 23AI. What are some of the, the top groundbreaking innovations in 23AI? So 23AI has like 300 new capabilities, but really the focus is around AI and really the Oracle strategy is to bring AI to the data. I think most of our customers are struggling with how to use AI and that requires them to move their data out and, and that really creates a big challenge. So our strategy is to bring AI to the data and really make it more powerful that way. And how else are we simplifying AI for data? So vector database is a key component. Like I said, every new technology, every new wave has brought its own database. We believe that it should be much simpler and use it in Oracle. So we've, we've built vector database 
in Oracle with vector indexes, high performance. And really that brings two big, uh, big uh, you know, benefits. One is you can now use SQL and vector similarity search together. Otherwise you would not be able to do that. And second, all the capabilities in Oracle that you're used to, high availability, performance, security, manageability, all of that is available with the vector capability now. So you don't have to re-engineer a new system and then solve all those problems all over again. And so, and then expanding on some of those different data types, more than just vector, everything all in one place. Yeah, so Converged Database is, again, a big part of our strategy. We really have done a lot of work to support new data types or, you know, documents, JSON, search, uh, sorry, text, spatial. It's really around making it easy for developers to be able to use a system where they can not only have the best mission critical capabilities, but also uh, being able to mix and match the power of SQL with all these other data types. One last topic you mentioned in your keynote is GenDev and the ability to use um, AI for your development, your database development projects. Oh, what are we doing to make this happen? So I think the promise of AI, other, you know, one of the big promise of AI is really to simplify development. Now, enterprise applications are very different. They need high security, reliability. You know, some of the large language models have problems with hallucination, et cetera. So enterprise application development is a whole other uh, area. And we've really focused on matching what LLMs or AI does well with where you need human intervention to create a gen dev environment that can really allow you to get that productivity. We're also making that available in Apex, which is our low code environment that's very popular. We use it internally. We have a lot of uh, customers using it. With the Apex uh, AI Assistant, now you can use natural language to generate enterprise grade applications. Great. Well, that is a, a quick run through of so many things, but thank you so much for walking us through that. Thank you. Thank you for having me.